we're ready to go ahead and line up our fault layer on top of the model underneath it. But unfortunately, the bounding box of our faults doesn't match up either in size or in aspect ratio with the bounding box of the model underneath it. So we're going to have to basically figure out how to line things up. And this happens often uh, when you're getting data from different places. And you sometimes have to use your eyeball to do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to line up the left edge of Cajon Pass here with the left edge of the earthquake fault model here. And the right edge at Anza is going to go there. So it looks like we're a little bit too big here. But unfortunately, you see that as I put it down on top of the fault model underneath, I have this blue box here. So I'm going to need to get rid of just that part. And if I need to get rid of one part, I'm going to have to use the white selection arrow, which is going to help me uh, get one piece of a layer at a time. So I'm going to click on that white selection and click on the background here. And you can see that it, the blue background is selected. I'll hit the delete button. That's the backspace key on my keyboard and it's gone. I could switch back to the black selection arrow because now I want to move all those faults and all those freeways at once and move them into place. Try and see if I can get click there. I'm going to zoom in close. Remember, I'm lining up the left side and the right side. When you get down near the end, you can actually use the up and down keys on your keyboard to get it exactly right. 